And hello, YouTube. And this is, I guess you would call it Notes from the Field. What we have here is a Well McLean EG boiler that was not put in by these guys. Um, it was put in by these guys. And uh, they didn't do it quite right, but it's still here. It's about one third larger than it really needs to be. And we've downfired as much as we dared. Uh, and it's still short cycles after a while. But there it is. You have to deal with things as they are. Uh, over the years, we've added um, a sight glass truth tester. A proper boiler drain. Um, we've kept this intact, but uh, this might be our next um, replacement. Of course, we'd like to replace the boiler, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. We also added a, a VXT in place of, I think it was a 101A. Uh, so it was a vast improvement over what was there before. Oh, we also added a vapor stat with a low pressure gauge. Now that says 30, but it's actually in inches of water column. So that's a little bit more than a pound scale. This is a two pipe system. That's why we, there's a Warren Webster float trap uh, for leftover from when this was the coal era. Ah, uh, this is the uh, tag showing um, when we installed the VXT and how much water they've consumed. We are concerned about that because of the underground returns. That's the air conditioning coming on. We're still, we're still in uh, cooling season. So we're just doing a startup on this unit today. There's a lovely skim tapping. We did that right at least. And there's our boiler drain that we added for better flow. And there's another underground return. So the main issue with this low water cutoff, McDonald number 67, is that over the summertime, rust barnacles will form on the inside and grab the float. And one way of dealing with that is to drop the water level below this point here and take that out. Um, when I got here, by the way, the water level looked like it was up here, but in fact it was not. There was a little bit of schmutz here and um, the water level was actually uh, several inches below, a couple of inches below that point. So this, what happened was the, uh, the float got stuck couldn't sense the fact that water was gradually disappearing from the system and um, didn't feed. So the cycle glass was lying and the feeder was locked up. So one way of getting it to unlock is to remove this quarter inch tap on top of here if you have access to it. A lot of times you have the pigtail attached to this and that doesn't allow you to uh, do what I'm doing easily unless you set it up differently. Now there is the top of the float and I'm going to push down and see if we can hear the the um, switch that's located in this spot here. So there's two switches normally on normally off depending on the position of the float and that sh the first click should shut off the burner 
and the second click should turn on the feeder. Oops, I'm getting it. Let's see. All right, so here we can, as I manipulate the float, you should see the period come on of the VXT. There we are. I think you heard that. So the one recommended way of flushing these things out is you open this up, you'll have an initial rush of water coming out. And once that slows, shut the valve. So what's happening is it's emptying out faster than it's coming in. And the minimal flow is just water basically trickling down this side here. And you want to just open this up and, I mean, close it and then open it up. And so here we go. Now it's slowed down, you just shut it, give it a few seconds, float turns back on. Like that. Now, what we probably want to do, you want to do that when the burner is running. I'm going to be turning on the burner later. Um, to give this thing a more thorough test to make sure that this switch is not malfunctioning. Uh, the weakness is the float. The float can get trapped by the rust barnacles in there. You can tickle that float to break up the rust barnacles and then you flush it a few times. And uh, that'll, that should get you back in operation. But in general, they uh, advise replacing these things every 10 years and this thing is um, way overdue on that scale. Um, we'll see how this goes. I'm going to, again, probably recommend that uh, they replace this thing with um, a type of uh, device which needs to be blown down, but instead of a float, it's electronic. Um, we've, I've made videos on that particular device before from, from hydro level, uh, replacing this with at least electronic controls. So you don't have that uh, float seize up. So thank you very much. I hope this is of a help. And if you have any questions, please ask below. I'll try to answer them. And again, I really thank you for your support.